Welcome to this teaser talk for our uh, paper content vampires from Univariate Sumcheck to updatable CK Snark. Uh, my name is Jan Nassim, and this is a joint work with Helga Lipma and Nihal Science. Uh, let's start with a bit of motivation. Uh, so in this work, we will focus on efficient zero knowledge arguments. Uh, so this means we want to prove something without leaking any other information. Uh, applications for this are well known. There are, for example, private cryptocurrencies, which are very popular right now. Electronic voting, when you try to prove that, uh, let's say, the tally is computed correctly, delegation of computation, and so on. Um, the model that we'll be using is the following. We have a prover, we have a verifier, and we have a trusted third party. So a prover knows the statement, which is public, and some secret witness. Verifier knows only the statement. And then the trusted party generates a structured reference string uh, for prover and verifier. And using this, it's possible to generate a proof. Uh, and then verifier will either accept or reject the proof. Uh, in particular, we will look at CK snarks. These are zero-knowledge, succinct, non-interactive arguments of knowledge. Here, prover has X and W, which he claims is in some relation R. X is public, W is private, and we require the following. Knowledge soundness, meaning that uh, prover that succeeds knows the witness, and we have zero-knowledge, which means that only information that is leaked is that X and W satisfy the relation. And finally, we want succinctness, which means that the proof size is sublinear in the size of the statement and the witness. Um, there's a big problem, however, with the generation of the SRS, because we cannot have a trusted party in most applications. It is possible to have a transparent common reference string uh, which means that you don't have to uh, put any trust in the setup, but you also uh, lose some efficiency by doing that. Uh, so that's why um, ideally you want a distributed SRS generation so that you only have to trust some of the generators of the SRS, but not all of them. There are two good notions here. One is universal SRS, which means that the same SRS can be used for all relations, at least up to some size. And in that case, we can use, we can generate the SRS once and we can use it again and again. And secondly, we have a notion of updatability, uh, which means that we have a very nice uh, SRS generation protocol where the first party can generate SRS, everyone else can verify this, and then the second party can update it, the third party can update it, and so on, until we get the final SRS. And this can now be securely used as long as one of the parties was honest. Uh, so let's get to our result. We construct the shortest universal and updatable CK snark. Uh, so as we see from this table, only CK snark known so far, which is more, which has a shorter proof, is CRUD 16 CK snark, but that is non updatable and non universal, so it's a lot less uh, inconvenient to use in practice. Um, additionally, we also achieve prover and verifier, which are competitive in runtime, uh, to other updatable and universal CK snarks, uh, but we have to have a more complicated structured reference string but still, luckily, it's updatable and universal. Uh, so how do we achieve this? Uh, we take two uh, already known CK snarks, Lunar and Marlin, and take some of the ideas from there. And then we add a new subject argument that we call count, count uh, a new polynomial patching technique, and lots of small optimization. And with each optimization, we will see that there's a trade-off with it between proof size and provers computational SRS size. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope to see you in our full talk.